Governor, here in Duval County, we have seen bookshelves in schools emptied in response to Florida's new guidelines on books. I'm wondering, is this what you're... Actually, you know, that video, that was a fake narrative. That was not true. And our press guys, where is Brian back there? He can get you the details on that. Uh, this is trying to create some narrative as if that they hadn't even put the books out yet to begin with. So there's no need for all of that stuff. What they're trying to do is they're trying to act like somehow, you know, we don't want books. The and some of the narratives that you hear. You hear people talk about felony charges. Understand, nothing that we've done since I've been governor has done anything that. Now, there is longstanding Florida law that prohibits an adult from giving uh, a school child pornography. But don't we think that that's inappropriate to do? But that's been the law for a long time. So when they hear you, when, you, when they start chirping about that, understand they're talking about longstanding Florida law that's trying to protect young children. So I think they're trying to do things to, to virtue signal. I think it's all politically motivated. But what the Department of Education, I've asked them, I said, talk to these school districts. Tell, are there books that, that, that are problematic? You, are you really removing? And make them justify what they're doing because I can tell you with our curriculum transparency parents are concerned if you have in sixth grade the ability to access a book that has pornographic acts depicted and you have seen that across the country go read books like gender queer and see what's in there uh, it's inappropriate so we've armed parents the ability to, to object to that and to make sure that they're having education and, and not indoctrination. But anytime you hear about something that seems so outlandish, just understand uh, they're manufacturing that uh, to try to create uh, a narrative. And so if there's anything that any of these school superintendents say are quote ban, produce that. And our Department of Education would absolutely, will absolutely take a look at that. And I can guarantee you, unless it's something that 99% of the people realize is wrong, chances are um, it's not in, in, in any type of uh, issue. But I'd also note this, when they'll talk about some of the books that the parents do object to, they will rarely admit what is actually in there. You see these uh, the, the school board meetings across the country, a parent will start reading what is in some of this, and the school board members are like, no, no, it's too graphic. You can't do that in a school board meeting. Well, how if it's too graphic for a school board meeting with adults? It's okay to do for a fifth grader or a sixth grader. Of course it's not. Uh, so so let's, just, let's just get real here. There's unfortunately an effort in our country to try to jam some of this stuff into, these, uh, into the elementary and the middle schools. And that's just inappropriate. So we're going to make sure that parents in Florida feel safe sending their kids to school uh, without having that uh, shoved down their throat.